Good afternoon and thank you for joining me. My name is Zach Smith and I'm, today I'm going to be talking to you about the digital app Remind, remind.com. Uh, you would find that in the For Lotso article if you're interested in finding out more information about it. Remind.com is a communication tool. It allows better communication between uh, school and home, between teacher, student, and parent. Uh, let me walk you through the Remind app. Uh, Remind app is found at remind.com. It will bring you to the home page right here where it asks you to sign up. Signing up is easy to do and is 100% free. Let me walk you through uh, what Remind is about. Bear with me as I am going to be walking in and out of frame. So I go to remind.com where I would sign up by clicking on the sign up button. I click on here. All I need to do is provide my email, phone number, or if I uh, am signed up through Google, uh, you can click on here and it automatically uh, signs you up for the Remind app. Once I am signed up, it will bring me to a home page. Let me show you my particular home page. And here it is. Uh, I have currently two classes that are on the Remind app as well as an activity that I sponsor. In order for a student or a parent to sign up, they are given a code specific to that class or that activity. Uh, for instance, my particular code for my government class is 9E494C. A student or parent or another teacher or an administrator would text that message to a number that Remind provides, and once they text that number in, they're automatically signed up for receiving messages through Remind. Now, I can see who are signed up through uh, Remind by clicking on people with my respective class. Now, to create a class, it's quite simple. You would go on here, you would create a class, there's gonna be a code assigned to you, and from there, you would start seeing people signing up to receive messages for that particular class. So, let's look at the people who are signed up for my government class. I click on people, and I have a list of all of the students who are signed up for my Remind class, I have the date which they signed up. I also have a list of teachers and uh, parents and administrators who are also signed up to receive my messages via Remind. I can, by the way, drop students at any particular time. If I have a student who's uh, transferred out of my class, I can drop them from my class if necessary by simply clicking on the actions over here. Messages that I send out. I'll go back to my messages. I just sent a message out to my class for government yesterday. Today we gave uh, presentations over uh, political parties, particularly third parties. I sent a message out to remind the students yesterday to have their presentations ready to go for class today. That's the essence of what Remind is, is to remind students, to let them know, hey, you have an assignment that's due on such and such day, please make sure that things are done. It's also a great tool for engaging parents. Parents uh, have the opportunity to see what's going on in classes, so whenever a, a kid comes home at night, uh, parents can ask, hey, do you have any homework this evening? I got a message on Remind from Mr. Smith saying you have a presentation due tomorrow. Uh, is it ready? Parents can be more engaged. And that's something that Falazzo even mentions in his article. He says that, uh, that this particular app is, uh, with parents who are utilizing it, that parents, studies have shown that parents are, are more engaged and it's resulted in improved uh, student performance in the classroom. And I can see that because parents are seeing what I'm doing in my classroom via these remind messages that I'm sending out. Parents can see, hey, you have a test coming up on such and such day. Oh, you have an assignment due on such and such day. I also send out class materials. I send out uh, my, uh, my, no my class lecture notes. I send out assignments via remind. And this is handy for students who may have missed class that day for illness or perhaps an activity. So if, if, they, if they're not in class, they're still getting the material. They might not get you know, the entire class experience, but if uh, they have the notes, they can you know, ask me about that. And that's another thing about Remind. It's a two-way street. It's not just me pushing out notifications, me pushing out information. It's also, I, I get questions coming back at me. I, I get messages in return from students, from parents, uh, from administrators at times. 
And that's also one of the things that we uh, need to kind of be wary about with Remind is it is a two-way street with uh, students, especially high school students, responding to a teacher's uh, Remind message. It, it's, it's back to the teacher alone and not to the entire class, and it becomes just a two-way street between uh, teacher and student. And so we need to make sure that we are conducting ourselves professionally, that the messages that I am sending uh, back to students are appropriate in nature, and then they're also timely, that I'm not spent, uh, messaging students back at 9.30 at night or 10.30 at night. Uh, we want to avoid that, you know, keeping it professional. Uh, the messages that I send out to the class go out to parents and they also I always make it a point to have administrators sign up for my remind messages so the administrators themselves see the material that I'm sending out to uh, parents and students uh, as far as who gets those messages this is one of the great this is one of the cool things about remind I can actually see who are, are receiving those messages so for instance this particular message that I sent out yesterday over third party, I click on the message itself. I click on the message itself, and it provides data for me. It tells me that of the students who received it, it was sent to 76 uh, students, uh, people for that matter. Uh, of the, the, uh, the 76, 65 actually read the message, meaning 85% of the people read the message. And it was delivered to everybody. Everybody got the message. But I have some people who didn't read the message. So of those who did not read the message, I click on read. And I have a list of all of the students who actually read the message. I have a list of all the students who actually read the message. And I also know the students who did not read the message. I know they received it because 100% received it. However, I noticed that there are some students who did not look at that message. Now, perhaps they were at work. Perhaps they didn't have their phone on them. But I can safely say that I know that I sent the message out. If you are not receiving the message, why aren't you receiving the message? And that's why I would engage the students. Why aren't you seeing this? Were you at work? Were you too busy? Are you ignoring these messages? Because that's going to impact performance in the classroom. I want to, the whole point of the Remind app is to engage students, is to reach out to students and improve communication. And for that, it is an incredible tool. I, 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 it's become an invaluable tool for me to share, uh, not just uh, message, Remind messages, but I can also send out extra stuff. You know, things that I come across that uh, relate to class that it's like, hey, I came across this, this is interesting, hey, read on this if you get a chance, and I can engage in a discussion with them during class later on, or I can uh, share with them uh, uh, lessons that I've come across from other teachers, it, because I have other teachers within our building, uh, we all, a lot of us use this app, and we will sometimes share like cross-curricular ideas with one another. It's, it's an incredibly useful, incredibly helpful app for us, and uh, I would highly recommend it. Again, it's at remind.com. Uh, signing up is easy, and signing up is also 100% free. And uh, again, I would highly recommend that if you have the chance to take a look at it. Uh, that's the Remind app, and my name is Zach Smith. Thank you very much for your time. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.